Congratulations on the opening of your new faculty. Thank you. It's wonderful to open up this brand new church. We're delighted. What's unique about your facility here? What's unique about St. John the 23rd is that our parish is built on four guiding principles, hospitality, reverence, invitation, and outreach. So out of those four guiding principles was born this facility, this building, and it was through a lot of conversations that we had with parishioners. So it really has become our building and you know we're standing on the rock of Jesus Christ. What do you think you are most known for? Here at St. John 23rd, I think we are most known for our hospitality. I hear it all the time. People will come perhaps from other parishes and they'll say, wow, you know, it's just, we come in here and we're greeted, we're asked our names, and I feel so warm and welcomed here. And many times people will, they keep coming because they're recognized um, as another human being and they're, wel they're welcomed into this space. What do you find most rewarding about your position here? Ah, my position. I love my position. I get to work with all the adults in the parish, beginning from parents of our young uh, students, in other words, grades one through four, and then everything that has to do with adults in this parish. So it's things like running disciple groups, which is really important to us. Disciple groups are groups of people in our parish who get together in one another's homes and they share on the Sunday's gospel. And Father Herb is very good at putting together questions that they can share on. Another track that we have for disciple groups is the Alpha film series. And many of our younger parents just really get into that film series and they have wonderful discussions with one another. So it's, a, it's another way to engage people in discussion about their faith. So actually myself, I do whatever adults need. Everything from bereavement and funerals to the disciple groups to uh, spiritual direction, a little counseling, whatever it might be. You offer programs for children here? Yes, we do. We have a very exciting program for children. It's called Base Camp. And Base Camp is for those children, grades one through four. And um, they come twice, on a, twice a month, and they come with their parents. And while they're in their classroom learning, their parents are also hearing about what the children are learning about and they are also in disciple groups. So we really try to do wraparound catechesis for the families. We also have preschool, kindergarten, then the fifth and sixth graders, they have their own track where they get their, more like a youth group model, where they get their catechesis, their faith formation, and then our high school, then our high school uh, group where Again, a lot of youth ministry going on. In fact, they have, uh, as a result of our building this, this church, we have a brand new student center, which is really large, and the, the high school kids love it. Tell us a little bit about your upcoming event. Ah, we have a big upcoming event. Today, of course, is open house from 3 to 5 this Sunday. But this um, Friday, we're very excited to welcome the entire Toledo Symphony here in this building, in this church. And uh, the admission is free. We had uh, donors who underwrote the event, and that's why it's free, and it's just going to be a wonderful event. So I invite everyone to come and join us. Seven o'clock, Friday. If people would like to know more information about your activities and how to get well, they can do several things. They can go to our website, stjohn23.org. And uh, it's a wonderful website. They can learn a lot. Another thing that they can do, they can stop in at any time. We're open to have conversation during the work week. 
um, give us a, give us a phone call, whatever is easiest. Come and worship with us and talk talk with us after uh, the mass, and uh, we can help everyone out. Good luck on your upcoming event. Thank you very much. It's been great to be with you. This is Brittany Moore reporting for the Fairy Store Digital Media Club.